Today we're at the Goldsboro Police Department. We're talking with Sergeant Jason Adams. Sergeant, Crime Stoppers Coordinator, thank you for being with us. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Now, what's going on? Where are the bad guys? Well, today we're going to be talking about um, something that actually happened back in May. Okay. Um, it actually happened on May 7th uh, of this year, and um, it was a vehicle accident, um, but also a shooting. So uh, just after oh, midnight. I remember that. Yeah. We, we'd actually talked about it before, yeah, yeah. and we need the public's help is the reason that we're talking about it again. But back on uh, May 7th at um, 11 minutes after midnight um, that night, we had officers that responded to the area of Atlantic and Herman uh, mm -hmm. Street for a shooting, um, shots fired call. When they got there, um, they actually started getting another call uh, further down on Wayne Memorial uh, that there was a traffic accident. Um, once they got on scene, there was actually um, two individuals that were outside the vehicle that had been in the vehicle at the time of the crash. Um, one had been shot and um, had some other injuries, and then the other one had some injuries due to the, the crash. The um, third person was actually inside the vehicle, and uh, he was pronounced uh, deceased on scene um, from apparent gunshot wound. And the victim was a Shaheem Rayford. Um, all three were from the Goldsboro area. Um, the uh, one that had been shot, uh, that was non-life-threatening, uh, he was taken to Wayne Memorial, um, and the other one was actually treated on the scene mm -hmm. um, and released. Now, as I recall, this accident, the vehicle accident, was near the intersection of Highway 70 bypass. Yes, it was, yes. And it's in front of First Pentecostal Holiness Correct. Church. Correct. All right, and I remember that well. And uh, so you're asking for assistance in the, in the shooting? Yes, in the shooting, because uh, it is a homicide right. uh, investigation, but it's also uh, firing into occupied vehicle. Um, so there's actually several felonies um, that are associated with it. Um, just anybody that may have seen or since then, anybody that's heard anything, because um, um, you know, sometimes people talk. People do um, talk. And, um, and anything, it, even if it seems very minute uh, and very small, um, could be something that breaks this case wide open. Exactly. Regardless of the uh, of the what you feel may be just an insignificant amount of information, it may be the bit of information that the police department needs to break this case. Yes, sir. It doesn't. Sometimes it just doesn't take much. No, it doesn't. Sometimes you, it you doesn't. have all the pieces, but that one final piece of the puzzle, when you uh, need that piece of the puzzle, and you can actually solve the case. Yes, sir. Now there is a reward uh, being offered for yes. information leading to yes. an arrest. Correct. Anything, um, information that leads to a felony arrest um, can be uh, a reward up to $1,000. Up to $1,000. Um, and uh, they just have to call, text, or go online um, to our uh, um, web address. Um, the phone number is 919-735-2255, and that is call and text. And then also they can go online, and that web address is p3tips.com. Okay. Again, the phone number, 919-735-2255. You can call or text, regardless of the way you, you choose to provide that information. You will always remain anonymous. You do not have to appear in court. No, you do not. Well, we don't know who to call to court because you're going to be anonymous. You're anonymous. Yeah. Can't call you if you're anonymous. But they do have a way uh, that you and your, uh, uh, your contact will uh, provide a, a way to be contact, not be contacted, but so, to identify yourself. Right. So we use um, either an identification number or a code name, mm -hmm. um, and that's the only way that we actually track it, and that's set up through me as the coordinator and the caller. Um, and uh, basically, that they'll be the one talking to me, even if they go on to the web, uh, p3tips.com. Uh, the person that they're interacting with is me. Right. That's um, uh, so. p3tips. That's uh, P is in Paul, three, the number three. The number three. Tips, T-I-P-S dot com. All right, Sergeant Jason Adams, Crime Stoppers Coordinator, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir.